So only now I'm coming up to the opportunity I was talking about. Right? There's another one bedroom going. Um, the, it's not even gone on the market yet. A knocked up window as I've seen the guy um, decorating it. I said, are you selling this? Because I knew Adam that used to live in there. I said, the guy's selling it and he's going to do it up. Didn't know whether this guy was a decorator or what. Wasn't with the owner. So we said, yeah, yeah, come on in. So did, did Adam tell you I was uh, asking after this place? And he said, yeah, yeah. So I said, uh, well, I'm not going to ask you how much is out like that because I'm not in the position yet to do anything about it till the end of July, but can you tell me something about it and stuff? So, you know, gives all details and that. Nice fella, ex-fucking bouncer, actually. Some of the rougher fucking pubs. But he's all right, and uh, he's got his own business doing a load of property stuff. But he's decided to sell this, and he's been knocking it out, and it's been, it's quite fucking run down. The carpet in there is original from 18 years ago, and it's sort of like an off-pink fucking peppery pink colour. It's shit. Bathroom shit, and he's just going to tidy that up with fucking... It's going to still look rental, you know what I mean? Shit. But it's solid, you know what I mean? I mean, it's had a, had a leak in the roof, so it's all fucking been painted. So all I would do if I go in there, right, uh, the flooring, fuck carpets, I'd get, um, and it's relatively cheap, I'd get decent fucking, um, you know, like proper woody type flooring. Not expensive, but looks right. I'd probably chuck under floor eating because it's on those storage eaters. And because I'd, I'd put it on rental, you know, it don't fucking matter. It's, it's summer, isn't it? You know what I mean? So it's the season. I'd put a little fucking electric fucking fancy on the wall. One like I've got in, in my room, and I'll show you that sometime. In fact, I'll, I'll put, next I'll put the video of what my fucking front room looks like. So you get an idea of what I do. You know, like decorating my. So I don't do it, I just fucking get it done and have ideas. Right. So anyway, reckon 120 top it's going to be, but I'm not going to pay that. Uh, not on my own. As an opportunity, I'd pay it if there was two of us, 60 grand each in, right? Worst scenario, right? Property prices in the last three years um, in Glossop have gone up. Uh, mine was 89, sorry, nearly three and a half years ago. It's now worth 120. Now, I've spent 20 on it. But 20 doesn't add 20 to the value, you know what I mean? It just makes it market what's saleable, you know? Probably adds 10 to the value, so 89, probably 100. But the other 20 is in fucking property rises, right? So that's good. So it's only a no lose, you can't fucking lose. They fucking rent out like fucking amazingly quick. Shit, you one upstairs above me, three quarters size of mine, right? That just, just sold for 115. Mugs bought it. Proper mugs and they're it out on rental because it's worth it. The rental is fucking worth it. Uh, five nine five they're paying and it's shit rental. It's everything in there is eighteen fucking years old. It's not been changed other than to fix things that break and the bathroom shit. Five hundred ninety five pound a month. Right, what we're we'll doing the place and I'll do a walk around with. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna have a word with the guy. If this is all, if you wanted to do it, and I know you're not going to, but it gets this shit out of me, you know. But all I'm gonna do. I'm definitely going to do this whether you come in, but I think it'd be a giggle if you came in, wouldn't it? I mean, we'd make fucking money, mate. I mean, you know what I mean? Right. Uh, my bedroom downstairs, it's like Gotham. I stayed at Gotham one time when I was trying to get this bird from Canada to come back and impress her, you know what I mean? So she spent a, a month's old in a fucking proper, you know, push the boat out. Gotham paid 900 quid for one night in Gotham. And my bathroom, like mirrors that on a much smaller scale, you know, like black fucking um, tiles, you know, really posh, good fucking, anyway, they all fucking like the great big fucking sink and all this sort of shit. But mirrors like me, you know, that. epic. Right. All I'd do in this place is I'd, the only thing I'd do that expensively I'd do is I'd buy the same fucking tiles. So then, it's, there's something about it, you know, a really posh, dark um, bathroom, like Gotham. I'd get a decent shower, but not fucking loads of money. I'd get an electric fucking shower. It's got to look fucking groovy. I'd get rid of the fucking boiler and have a load more storage, because the boiler's fucking huge. It's almost as tall as me, and it's fucking that wide, and it's totally unnecessary for a one-bedroom house. I was told with these... I've got one as well. These boilers, you could have 
six baths a day. Mum's on economy seven, eats up overnight. Six baths a day and run all your water for... You know what I mean? It's fucking ridiculous. The little one bedrooms. So anyway, that's more room. That's fucking more storage space, which they're short of. So I do the bathroom. Uh, flooring. Uh, I wouldn't change it. It's all painted. Um, and just... The, the basically sound all the kitchen stuff. Whip the front off. Uh, nice, posh fucking fronts. Spend the money on them. They're about... About 30 to 50 pound a pop for the big doors, but they look fucking smart. Uh, the, the actual surface top thing is all right, it's nice, it'll go with it. Um, and I'd put a fucking Samsung oven in, you know, the split one where it's the front splits, just like mine. And you can get them for about 400 quid. Um, nice conduction hob, 100 quid. So, what to pay? About two. About three grand. For the bathroom, that's all I'd pay. I know it sounds a lot, but you know, what I mean, it's gonna be top, a lot of that. A quarter of that will be fucking tiles, and if we can get coops to do it, mate rates, pay him decent money, but we're, you know, excellent, epic. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. So the rental on that, that one upstairs is fucking five nine five. That one. Uh, it's gonna. It's, it's at least gonna be six fifty. I would go for six fifty because I'd want six hundred pound clear back, and I'm gonna put it on full management, which is seven percent with country owns. So that's the opportunity, anyway. So what do you think? Anyway, just one more video, and then that's it.